Let the road to WrestleMania officially begin here on the Sports Hit List, Carl Coulange, by the fans and for the fans. We decided that this year we're going to start our WrestleMania season four-part series. I am joined alongside Mr. No Days Off, Mr. Nick. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, Carl. It's WrestleMania season, best season of all. Best season. So for those who may not understand what is WrestleMania, this episode we will explain to you what is WrestleMania, what it means to us, and why we like it so much. So, Nick, for the average casual person who may not know, like, why are these guys getting so excited and wearing T-shirts and bringing in all these uh, memorabilia? What is WrestleMania, in your opinion? WrestleMania is a combination of the Super Bowl, the best concert you've ever been to, and just the best wrestling event you've ever been to. Because it's just, it, it's such a big show that over time has grown to be much more than just a show. It's just the ultimate wrestling fan's dream. That's really the best way I can describe it. For me, it's just, as you said, uh, and, you know, as a wrestling fan, as a pro wrestling fan, you hear all the, all the things they tell you. It's the showcase of the immortal. It's the main event. Uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's our Super Bowl. It's our World Series. It's our NBA Finals. Uh, I just remember as a kid watching it, it was always that you build yourself to that WrestleMania moment. Uh, you go on to win the Royal Rumble, and then you start your road to mm -hmm. WrestleMania. So it's always in over time with the development of technology, it's become more than just, as you said, more than just that one specific night. It's become an entire weekend. It's become a Hall of Fame induction ceremony added to it where, where, where legends get involved. So for those who may not know and understand it, again, you want to compare sports entertainment's biggest moments. The biggest moments happen at a WrestleMania. And, I think. And, and you can easily compare it to something like the Super Bowl because now cities are bidding on WrestleMania like they bid on the Super Bowl. Mm. You have cities three, four years out that want WrestleMania because of the revenue it brings in for, for their city. I mean, you know, places like New Orleans, New York, Orlando, they see like about a billion dollars in revenue from hotels, merchandise, food, transportation. So it's a big deal to get WrestleMania in your city. To add to that, WrestleMania used to be in regular arenas, yeah. right? So I think after 2000, I think- 21 was the last Yeah, 21 was, was in the home. And then after that, they started doing uh, home stadiums because it was always tradition that 30 was uh, every every 10th was in New York yeah, and then Garden. the uh, 2004 was the last time they, they I guess they broke that tradition because the 30th wasn't uh, 29 was in New York but mm -hmm. you see the transition of how big it's become because again you went from regular arenas to Vince saying you know what I'm going to make it a bigger spectacular we're going to do now stadiums and him saying that he'll never go back to an arena so no matter no. what and, and again there's no reason there's no matter what nostalgia you have to an arena like everyone says, WrestleMania 40, you should go to the Garden. No way. No. No way. Can't. But you know what? The one thing I will say about the WrestleMania that kind of, I understand why they did it, but the fact that they got rid of the number because they, wanted, they didn't want to make it seem like it's outdated anymore. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on that? So I, so I think that they, I don't understand it because we all know WrestleMania is like old and goes back. It's not, but it's not like an insult. I feel like it's more of like, they should take pride in the fact that they're almost at WrestleMania 40. Like mm -hmm. they did 40 straight years of a show that and people are still this excited about it and it's this big you know i think if anything just do, keep, keep the note the roman numerals i like that um mm -hmm. just because you know at first glance you don't really see the number but i don't think it's a big deal saying how old it is because like i said take pride in it for me it, it's i'm starting to lose track of the years without it mm -hmm. so like you, you were telling me uh you know certain ones and certain things that happened i'm like wait what year was that one but knowing them because i remember the years like i know 19 was in 2003 like I remember 20 because mm -hmm. it was 2004 you know so I know them based upon the years I think over the last few because they because they got rid of the numbers and I think someone might have slipped up recently and they said it on air I don't know if, if, if they can still allow to say it but sometimes mm -hmm. someone will say it uh, I think Becky said it or Charlotte was like Wrestlemania this is this is 38 so I, I think also they want to keep it as its own brand like you know obviously we have the Super Bowl has its own numbers but they want to keep it just as Wrestlemania and mm -hmm. every year and I think the ultimate goal of WWE is to have WrestleMania be presented like the Super Bowl on national television, not a pay-per-view event, because mm -hmm. that would bring in a lot more eyes, a lot more revenue. Um, I think that's their, that's their ultimate goal, and they should do that. I think it... What, can you tell us what your first WrestleMania you watched? Do you remember it and what you were like, and how old were so you? My first, so the first WrestleMania I watched was WrestleMania 25. Um, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, Sean because, Taker won. You know, Sean Taker won. That was, and I remember because that was the first pay-per-view my, my parents ever let us buy because I think me and my brother bugged them so much like for the months leading up to it. Because like I said, once the Royal Rumble hits, it's full speed ahead Mania season. And we like, can we, we buy WrestleMania? Can you please buy us WrestleMania? Can we have friends over? And eventually they were probably so tired of us asking. They said, you know what? Here's the money. Buy it. Invite your friends over and don't bother us. And <laughs> that was it. Yeah, we ordered the pay-per-view. 
Um, and ever since then, you know, even before going, I had parties every single year. My friends would all come over, we'd chip in for the pay-per-view, and you know, it was great. For me, I'd say it was 14. It was the, the, the birth of Austin era, 1998. I think it was March, I wanna say March 14th, around that time, right? Um, and my dad, again, back then your parents wouldn't let you watch it and you're kind of bugging them, bugging them, bugging them. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but I don't care anyway. <laughs> Uh, a friend of ours, I guess, had an illegal cable box. Black and, box. <laughs> right, but she, uh, she taped it for her son because he wanted to see Mike Tyson. So she gave us the tape to watch it. Because she's like, okay, you can watch it and then my son can get it. And I watched it as a tape. It was like on the tape delay in a sense, right? Because I watched it a couple of days later. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there remember watching it like, and my parents are bugging me because I was watching it in their room. Because, you know, my parents wouldn't let us watch it by ourselves because they kind of have to be monitoring in a sense. Like they were in and out. Especially back in the day. Yeah, yeah. back in the day, right? So my mom's like, when is this thing going to be over? I got to go to bed. And I'm like, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I got to watch the last match. As a little 12-year-old, you're yelling. So that was my memory of watching the first one. The following year, we ended up watching them and over and over. And then it just became this whole thing where it's like, you just fall in love with it. And like you said, like every year you look forward to it. And you also know the storyline picks up around this time. Yeah. You know, that's when you get the best products, you get the best matches. And, and, and I, I, I think the, what plays into it more so nowadays is less like, the, you know, like you said, the pageantry of it. It's just now, like when you turn on WrestleMania for the first time as like an unknowing fan, you look at this, you know, and you look at all these people and you say, this many people, like my parents, they don't really understand why I, why I love it like I do. But, you know, they saw when WrestleMania 35 came to New York, they saw on the news, you know, 85,000. My dad's like, 85,000 people for wrestling? I'm like, yeah. yeah. Like, and that's not even that, that's not even the biggest. You know, they've, they've had 100,000 people at these things. And just a lot of like outside re people don't understand how much this means. The to one thing fans. that I'll say that bothers me about it, though, is there's a lot of people who, who won't admit that they're fans. I'm like, it's okay. Like, I remember like teaching your, your, your first, one of your first classes, I admitted it, and was like, it, you know, it's fake, right? I'm like, yeah, I do. And, you know, like, I don't Every, care. Everything is fake. Movies are <laughs> fake. fake. TV yeah. is fake. Yeah, I, mean, I don't get that. I actually had an argument uh, uh, with a couple of students. He's in the back, too. I, I didn't forget. T. <laughs> Uh, Tavion was oh it's fake I'm like I know that you know so it's yeah. okay to admit that but I think the fact that when I'm able to watch it and I know other people like it too and they watch the finding you guys and knowing that you guys enjoy it just as much as I do brings more to it than and, and, and Wrestlemania is such a big event that it transcends more than just fans I mean I have you know especially when you have these big names so I have a big we have a fan a friend who's a big UFC fan and when he heard Ronda was going to be at Wrestlemania 34 he asked me he's like how can I watch send me information you know, every year in Brock's wrestling, people are like, how can I watch this match? I guarantee yeah. you next year, people will ask you, how can I watch if the Roman faces, if Roman faces the Rock, how can I watch? People want to watch as much as you like said, They might admit they don't want to watch. When WrestleMania comes around, they want to watch. So for those fans out there who may not know or understand what WrestleMania is, a uh, quick tip, just Google it, number one, and then talk to us here at the Sports Hillers. We'll gladly educate you and let you know where you can find WrestleManias, what's the best WrestleMania to watch. There, 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 there's great uh, documentaries, too. There's a really yeah, good uh, the, d physical DVD documentary. About I actually have it at home, you yeah, the, the history yeah. of WrestleMania. Yep. It's like a, uh, I think, like a three-part yeah, disc, Yeah, it's like right? a three-disc set. I have it, yeah. Yeah, that, sure. that's a really good, you know, thing to watch. Just seeing how, again, I'll always say, I'll always have respect for Vince McMahon because of what he created. This one event, singular event, that now has turned into almost 40 years later, selling out state football stadiums all started at Madison Square Garden for one show. It's just, it's insane. Thank you. So thank you to Vince. Thank you for all you do. And thank you for WrestleMania. Please make sure to check out more Sports Hitless content. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Episode two will be coming soon where we'll be discussing attending WrestleMania. Carl Coulange, Mr. No Days Off. Take care.